Hi, good evening, everyone. Well, good evening, Antonio and Luz. <laughs> yes. Are you guys there? Do you hear me? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Yes, good evening. Good evening. How are you guys? How are you? It's Monday. Beautiful Monday. Yes. Guys, how are you? Tell me. How is everything? Everything okay, teacher. Everything is okay. All right, all right. Antonio, how was your day? It was a little hard, but, but I'm okay. Oh, really? It's Monday, right? It's easy Monday, easy, easy. Oh, but it's it's the end of the month. Yes. Mm, yes. Yes. Tomorrow, tomorrow is the last day of the month. Mm. Tomorrow is the last day of the month, exactly, exactly, yes. Wow, yes, really fast, right? Yes. Yes. All right, I'm glad that you are here, Antonio. Thank you for joining the class. Thank you, teacher. Lovely. Let me, let me change my camera because this one looks bad. I'm back. Wow. Let me see if this camera works. Is the camera I have right now is not really working. It's giving me some problems here. I don't know why. It's probably my computer. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, more people have joined. Thank you guys for being here. Solo denme un segundo que ajusto la cámara porque la mi compu no está muy bien. Wait. Hopefully this one will work. Let me see if it works. Just give me a second, give me a second. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to make it work. Hopefully you will. So I just read it. Let's see why. Let me try this camera. Let me see if it works. Yep, I think it works. Feels weird though. I don't know why. <laughs> All right. Hi, guys. Well, this camera is weird. A little better, though. Pero un poco mejor, un poco más negrito. But that's me. That's me. All right. That's me. Okay. Very good. Okay. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for being here. It's Monday. It's the beginning for the new week. And, well, this is the beginning of the end. We're going to finish, we're going to finish this module, module number two, this week, specifically on Friday, okay? Are you happy about that? Yes? A little? Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. I understand, I understand. Uh, I understand. You're happy because, you know, you're going to rest and uh, you need rest. You need rest. I need rest too. So that's why we, we are happy about this week okay it's sad that i'm not going to see you again but you know it's it's part of the process very good very good i look weird with this camera i don't like it <laughs> i look different okay very good now let me take attendance we only have seven people christopher hello hector christian yes isabel and holman thank you guys for being here yes thank you sir. What Thank else? you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Christian. Okay, very good. Let me take attendance. <clears throat> yeah. Have you been working on the platform, guys? Yeah, teacher. Okay. If you finished or if you if you have finished, that's perfect. 
If you haven't finished, then you need to continue this week. Remember, this is the last week, so you need to have that updated by Friday or completed by Friday. Yes. I would really, really appreciate your, your participation on the platform. Let me take attendance Monday, February 27th. Adriana Maria Turcios Najarro. <clears throat> Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol. Carlos is not here. I hope to see him later on. Yes. Christian Alexander Arevalo Delgado. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Christopher Spitia Chipawa. Present teacher, present. I see you, I see you. I see you. Have you seen Avatar? Avatar, I see you. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez is here. Gabriel Beltran Perez. <clears throat> Hector Francisco Morales Rico. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Isabel Hernandez Hernandez. Present. I didn't open this. Yes, yes, Isabel, thank you. I didn't open this window, like something is opening here. It says United Profile number one, Untitled. I don't know what that is. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Good evening, present. Hi, good evening. Hey, you are you got, this guy here, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, I see you there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Holman Saul Sanchez. Present. Thank you. Laura Yasmin Portillo. Lucy Nathalie Juarez. Present. Thank you. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Nelson Antonio Arroda Rosales. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Pamela Carolina Molina Guevara. Roberto Carlos Hernández Cruz. And Rosalina Alvarado. We just got here, Adriana, right? Adriana, Adriana. Just got here. Let me corroborate. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, apparently somebody. I didn't take attendance on somebody. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people. Oh, Fatima is here. That's why I didn't see Fatima before. Hi, Fatima. Thank you for joining the class. Hello, night, sir. You're, you're the only one, right? Good evening. You're, yeah, you're the only one. Okay. Yes. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, excellent. We are going to start right now. I want to share. I want to share uh, the presentation with you guys in this moment. Let me do it. I'm trying to see how this works. All right, I think it's better now. Okay, let me share this with you and let me know. Wait, I haven't even opened this. Give me a moment. <clears throat> For the ones that just got here, uh, remember that you have to complete the platform by this week, okay? By, by Friday, the, la the, latest, the latest, okay? By Friday, the latest. You need to have it done by Friday. The document will be ready soon. There you go. Okay, very good. Let me show you this. I'm 
I'm sharing with you today's presentation. Please let me know or confirm when you see it. Yes, teacher. Do you see it? All right, all right. Very good. Okay, this is class number 21. Okay, I don't know if you're counting, but this is class number 21. Yes. Uh, remember, we're going to finish on Friday 25th. Oh, quick reminder here. You might get, you might get the, the link for the sur survey this coming uh, days, probably tomorrow or Wednesday. Remember, we do not, we do, not do the, the, the survey, all right? We do it here on Friday, all together, okay? Yes. I'm just uh, reminding you of that. Now, let me show you a picture. I wanna, I wanna hear some opinions about this picture. It's something very, very easy. Look, I'm sharing the speedum over here, the speedum. And in the speedum, you can see a risk. See low, moderate, and high. Low, moderate, and high. Guys, what is risk? Can anybody tell me what risk is? Risk. Guys, hi, yes, Rosa, hello. Hello. Excuse me. <laughs> Good night. Like a danger. I'm sorry. Uh, like a danger. Emergency. Like danger. All right. Like danger. Yes. Okay. So risk is like danger. Okay. Very good. Very good. Anybody else? What is risk? Or do you think every company or everything we do has risks? Teacher? Yes? It depends. It's possible. <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Let's, go, let's go with, with you. Okay, Ivan, go ahead. Then Hector. Yes, no problem. Uh, go ahead, my friend, Hector. Okay. What a gentleman, yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Probably to to uh, injure myself is is it for low, moderate or high? If I don't I don't see the instruction instruction mm -hmm. of uh, anything. Okay, okay, it counts. It counts. Ivan, go ahead. Thank you, Hector, for your participation. Okay, uh, the pen, the pen kai rig teacher, for example, mm -hmm. in the company, uh, the laundry, laundry money, the, oh, the evaluation. Money, laundry. Rig, money, money laundry. Money, excuse me, money laundry. Yes. Uh, se, um, se como clasifican, ¿sí? What, what? Classify. Classifies, classify uh, kai rigs. Mm -hmm. In the customers, in the, in the, what do you say, proveedores? Providers or suppliers? Suppliers as well. Suppliers, yes. Suppliers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Only that. It's okay, it's okay. Anybody else? Teacher? Yes, Christian. Uh, for me, a risk is the possibility of Something happened, something bad, or or something. I don't know how to say that, how to express that. Uh, the possibility of something is ha something happened, but something that we don't. Uh, algo que no lo contemplamos antes. Something we don't think about. Uh -huh. okay. Yes, something we don't think about or it's something that we don't have a control. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, more opinions. Thank you, Grisa, for your participation. More opinions.
Okay. No more opinions. That's okay. Now. Me, teacher. Oh, yes. Thank you, Adriana. Hi. There is, uh, are all those elements can danger the project or the company? Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, uh, are elements or things that can damage? Damage is the, 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 the verb here. Danger is not a, a verb. Okay, can, that can damage any project. Um, I'm sorry, my dogs are barking. Yes, they are right here next to me. Wait, I'm turning like my camera off. I think it's over. Okay, look, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you some words or some vocabulary that is related to risk. Okay, synonyms, verbs, words that might be similar, that are similar. It's this part over here, okay? We're gonna see word by word, all right? And we're gonna study them. The first one that we have is danger. Okay, look, risk, vocabulary, and synonyms. We got danger. Danger is risk, okay? Danger is risk. The difference here is that risk can be a verb, okay? I am risking a lot, or I risk a lot. I danger a lot, that's not correct, because danger is, I have danger as a noun, okay? And it is a noun, all right? So danger is the same as risk, okay? Then we have jeopardy, Je -je jeopardy, all right? Jeopardy, it's the same as this. How would you say jeopardy in Spanish, people? Guys, how would you say jeopardy? Sorry? Isabel, do you say something? It's daño. Okay, yes. Like, like it says here, synonyms, okay? Jeopardy is a synonym of risk, okay? Jeopardize, jeopardize is the verb, okay? That's the verb. We don't have a verb for danger. Danger doesn't have a, ver a verb, excuse me. Jeopardy is the, 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 the noun and jeopardize, it's the verb, hold on. Okay, here we go, let's continue here. <clears throat> then we have venture. Oh, how do you say jeopardize in Spanish, guys? Jeopardize. Arias. Jeopardize means arriesga, okay, as a verb, yes. Jeopardy, riesgo, okay, peligro. Venture, what is venture, people? Tell me, venture, what is it? Everything over here is related to risk. Venture, what is venture? Any ideas? Hi, no? Okay, venture means, in Spanish, means atreverse. Atreverse, okay. My dogs. <laughs> okay. It's a verb, teacher. I'm sorry? It's a verb. It's a verb, yes, it's a verb. As you see the V here is for verb. Okay, venture is a verb. It means atreverse, oh, okay. atreverse, okay? Yes, okay. that's what it is. Yes. Okay. It mean, means like arriesgarse, atreverse, but arriesgarse, okay? Yes. Then we got hazard. Hazard, this is the same as risk, okay? They are all related. What's hazard? Valerie player, right? <laughs> hazard, people? Hazard is danger. Danger, all right? The same thing, peligro, right? Hazard. And hazard can be the noun, or it can be the verb, arriesgar, okay? 
hazard, hazard. Okay, that's how it is pronounced, hazard, All right? Yes. So again, let me repeat it. Hazard means peligro, okay? As a verb, arriesgar. Yes, okay, very good. They are all related to this over here. What is threat, people? Threat, what is threat? This one is easier and more common. Threat? Amenaza? Yes, okay. Threat in Spanish is amenaza or, or, or intimidation, intimidación. <laughs> intimidación, okay. This is the noun, okay, threat, threat. The verb is not threat, the verb is threaten, threaten. Threaten okay. is the verb. It means amenazar, intimidar, threaten. Okay. Also related to risk. Okay. They are all related to, 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 to risk. The stress. Do you know what distress is, people? The stress. It can be a noun or a verb. The stress. No? That means, that means in affliction, okay? Yeah. Stress, affliction, yes. As a verb, as a noun, as a, as a noun, sorry. As a verb, affligir, okay? That's what it is, affligir, as a verb, affligir, yes. Now, we're going to continue with the other one, peril. Peril, oh, yeah. do you remember this one, peril? Peril. No. Peril means danger. Danger in Spanish, peligro. Peril, peligro. Okay. Yes. Same, the same, related to risk. Manance. What is manance? Manance. Manance is a synonym for threat. Okay. Amenaza, right? Amenaza, yes. Crisis, this one is easy. Crisis, disaster is also easy. Exposure, what is exposure, people? Exposure? No, nope. exposure means revelación, exhibición. Okay, or as a verb, exhibir. Okay, revelar. But, bad. Okay, is something bad. Like exhibir, but bad in a bad way. Yes. That's exposure. And uncertainty. Uncertainty uh, is similar to distress. Okay, affliction. Yes, that's uncertainty. Inquietud. Uncertainty, inquietud. All these yeah. words are, I'm sorry? Or oh, incertitude. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. Yes. Okay. See, all these words, all these words and verbs are related to risk. Okay. Now, do you have any questions? <clears throat> Teacher. Yes. I understood that every one of them um, we can use the um, we can use in, in two ways like as a verb and as a noun, right? Not not all of them, not all of them. Example, we got menens, menens no. Like only this danger. If you have the B, if you have the B, yes. They are they are verbs. Ah. Okay, and you said that threaten, threaten, what is the threaten. pronunciation? This one is threaten, threat. it's a verb, you said. This one is a noun, threat. Threaten, uh -huh. threaten, threaten, it's a verb, yes, threaten. How do you conjugate that? Sorry, what do you mean? Okay, uh, I threaten, you threaten, 
Is right? Yes. Is a regular verb? It's regular. Let me show you the forms if you, if you want me to. Let me. That's the normal form or the original form. ED. Okay. Exactly, exactly. That's the past form. Threatened. Threatened. Okay. And the past part is threatened. Thank you, teacher. Yes. That's okay. That's okay. ING and also threatened. Okay. Those are the conjugate. Your singular person. Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. More questions about the vocabulary? No? We're good? Fantastic. Yes. Now we're going to go back. Stop sharing here. And now we're going to go to the book. The lesson or the unit is about risk, okay? Let me share the book with you all. Let me know when you see it. Uh, just give me a moment because I don't have it here. Yes, I have it now. It doesn't, it, it won't work, okay? Okay, let me see. We are ready. Go to page number 33. Page number 33. And I will share it too here. I am sharing the book with you guys. Do you see the book? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Lucy. Excellent. All right. Today's objective is this. I will be able to describe risks and hazards at my workplace, okay? Then we have, hold on. What is the difference between hazard and risk? Hazard and risk. What do you think is a difference? Or do you know the difference? Hello? No, do you don't know? I told you they are they are synonyms, but they have uh, a little difference. They can be synonyms, yes, but they hazard. Yes, please. hazard is something that could potentially cause harm, and risk is the degree of likelihood that harm will be caused. Okay. All right. Yes. Those are the definitions for risk and hazard. Or basically, basically, uh, hazard, hazard is what you see, right? What you see or what you perceive. And risk is the real thing. For example, like, for example, yes? It's like uh, if you have a knife, the hazard potentially is the knife. Mm -hmm. Only, only that one, but the risk is if you take it and you might cut yourself. Hard, hard, cut exactly. Exactly, exactly. Very good. Excellent. Well done. Well done. Yes. What Lucy said. But let me give you another another situation. Let's say, for that example, that I am in a lake. I am in this lake, and there is a sign that says crocodiles. Okay. That is hazard or danger, okay? And risk is when I am in the water, okay? That is risk, okay? They are pretty, pretty close. Let's continue. The first question that we have here, have you ever heard the term risk assessment? Oh, I'm sorry, I apologize. Assessing risks, it's the, the, the name of the unit. What is assessing? Assessing, what is assessing or assess? It's an evaluation. Okay, it's an evaluation or it is a synonym for evaluate. Okay, evaluation, it's exactly what Lucy said. Thank you. Now we can continue. Have you ever heard the term risk assessment? 
People, have you ever heard about this term, risk assessment? No? No. No, you haven't? It's okay, it's okay. And now it is here. If you don't know, what do you think it means? What do you think this means? I mean, what do you think risk assessment is? Tell me, hi. Anybody? Teacher. Okay, Christian, tell me. Uh, I think that you can uh, evaluate, if or evaluate, uh, the type of kinds of risk, the, the potential, uh, the potential, uh, I don't know, uh, El daño potencial de las cosas, algo así. The potential damage. The potential. Ah, the potential damage. Damage, uh -huh. yes. Yes, otra thing. Um, for that, for, for get a control of what kind, for example, or, or evaluate mm -hmm. the, the, the kind of. of Assessment. Risk. Yes. All right. Okay, Christian, thank you, thank you. Anybody else? Another opinion. I think I got hiccup, people. <laughs> That's not good. Teacher, actually, I've never, I never heard these terms. I can't give my opinion. I don't know what is that. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna show you here. Uh, I think is an assessment mm -hmm. uh, about how vulnerable the the organization is okay okay yes yes thank you very much Elena, for your participation let's continue with the third question the third question says why should organizations design and be trained to apply one apply one assessment risk score you know what I mean why should organizations design and be trained to apply one? People, why do you think organizations should implement assessing risks or should assess risks? Tell me. For prevent two incidents in the company or lesson in their employees. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Okay, I don't know if you if you heard about this. This happened here in Usulutan. Uh, to be more specific, it happened in Berlin. It happened probably nine or ten days ago. It was about this little little kid, little boy. He was playing in the school, but he climbed a tree. He climbed a tree and he fell and he landed. He landed on his neck. He broke his neck and he died. Yes. Uh, it's sad, but but it, the kid died, you know, probably this company or the school didn't evaluate about this tree, you know, trees are dangerous, especially for kids, you know, because they are curious, they want to experiment new things. And that's why this kid was climbing. And uh, well, companies, that's why companies should, you know, <laughs> uh, implement these, these type of things. Let's continue with the conversation here. Look, we got a conversation. Still talking, still talking about risks. Okay. I'm going to read it and you guys listen to me, listen to the pronunciation, and then we can study the vocabulary. Let me start. Okay, listen, it says here two managers are discussing about risks and hazards at different locations in the company. Read the conversation and take turns practicing it. Marcos. Let me check if the list of hazards and safety measures is complete. Measures for electric shocks, for electric burn? Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcus. Now, 
I'll work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risks because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. Then I'll work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential sever severity, uh, risk value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. That's the conversation. Do you have any questions about it? We know what hazard is now, okay? Dangers, things that are, you know, not good for the company. Teacher, yes. At the, at the end of the first paragraph. Yes. Uh, first draft. What the means that? Draft is... The first thing that you you write, or your first your first sketch, is not the original one. It's the first one. Uh, how can I tell you this? Let's say, for example, that you are going to write a homework or some homework about sports. Okay. Yes. Hold on. Okay. Let's say that you're, you're going to write a, a report or something about sports, okay? And you do it, you write it, you write it, and then you check it to see if you have mistakes. That is the first draft. People, how do you say draft in Spanish? I don't know in Spanish. I don't know in Spanish. Borrador. That, machote. That, machote. Ah, that one, that one, that one, that one is better. Machote, yes. <laughs> 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 the most common borrador, yes, exactly that. Oh, is the most common one, and the easiest one to understand. Okay, draft means machote, or the first, the first thing that we do to to make something good. Okay, yes, excellent. More questions about the conversation, about the vocabulary or expressions. Teacher, the in, in the first paragraphs and mm -hmm. the the expression jet uh, jet uh, meanings are uh, como todavía yes aún mm -hmm. aún yes mm. both are okay todavía o aún both are both are okay okay mm -hmm. thank you okay more questions. Hey, look at this word. It's been a long time since last, uh, last time I saw this word with double L was, I don't remember, <laughs> but double L controlling. Okay, no more questions? That's okay. Now, we're going to do what we do. We're gonna go to the groups to practice the conversation. And also we are going to do part number three, which is to answer three questions. So we're going to be practicing the conversation and also we're going to be answering these three questions, okay? Let me make them right now. It's gonna be in pairs, all right? Thank you everybody for being here. It's a beautiful day. It's Monday, Monday is beautiful. You know Monday is beautiful, right? Hi, I don't know what happened. I, didn't, I lost you. I'm just making this right now. There you go. I just made the groups, people join them. If there's a person, <laughs> if there's a person that is not available, please let me know. And I'm going to move that person to a different group. Okay, hold on here. There you go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go practice. Also do part number three, please. I will be monitoring you all. So please participate. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Hey, are you in my group? Oh, I am in the main session. You are in the main session. <laughs> <laughs> you are still in the main session. 
No, no, okay. I don't. I'm going to do it again, but don't join this one. Join the other one, not this one. Wait, wait, not that one, not that one. Okay. That one. Can you go? Sí. And this is? Yes, and this teacher. Oh, but I lo perdí. I lost them. I lost it. Don't worry, don't worry. That one, no, that one, no. Okay, wait. Ahí no me va a trabajar. No ocupa la compra. There you go. That one. Number one, number four. Is number four? Number four, yes. Ivan, are you there? I'm here again. What happened? I don't know. Let's try again. Maybe it's a bad street and my car have to come back. Let me just move. Not that one, okay? It's number four, group number four. Yes. It is that. It is how you how you finish the field draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marco. Now I will work on the plan for reporting hazard and incident. Great. I work on some ideas on controlling risks because we went to make much progress on that. All right. Then I will work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity, risk value and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm here. <laughs> There's some pronunciation tips over here. Ow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ow. I'll, 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 I'll work. Okay. I'll, 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 I'll work. You can say I'll or I'll, I'll work. Okay. Here, uh, somewhere I'll, over here. Uh, much, not much, much. Establishing. Uh, yeah, only those ones. Only those ones. I don't know if you're going to continue participating. Thank you. You can uh, admit I share the screen. I'm sorry? You can enable to share the screen. I'm sorry, I apologize. Okay, there you go. Now it's done. Thank you. Yes, no problem. Okay, continue. I'll be back here later. <laughs> We, we haven't, huh, bit. We, ha we haven't made much progress on that. All right, then I work on establishing the incident. Establishing. Probably establishing. Establishing the incident, probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay. Teacher. Yes. We have a problem with the contraction. I will. The pronunciation is I'll. I'll, exactly. I'll. I'll. Yeah. I'll. Or, or many okay. people, I have Thank heard you. many people saying I'll, I'll, I'll work. I'll. Or I'll. I think I'll is better than I'll. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll work. 
Outward. Okay. 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 I and the and the pronunciation and the correct pronunciation severity. Oh, that would be severity. 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 Yes. Yes. Severity, yes. You can say severity, no problem. Yes. Yeah. Another one? Safety, teacher. Safety. Oh, safe. Safety. 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 Yes. Safety. Safety, safety measure. Measure. Measures. Measures. Measure. Safety measure is complete. Okay. Safety measure is complete. Measure for electric shock. This is a question. Measure for electric shock. For electric burn. 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 No es burn. Burn. Si fuera who, si fuera who sería barn or burn. But it's not as U, okay? It's called, uh, como que se llama esta cosa en gramática? En fonética, I don't remember. But that's what it is, burn, burn, burn. burn. Yes, exactly. Burn is similar to bar, burn, uh, like uh, nacer, burn. Oh, that would be born. See the difference? Born, born. Born, this, born. This one is not born, this one is burn. Burn, born. <laughs> the difference is, is <laughs> very close. Yeah. It is it's a, a little, close. a little. Mm -hmm. No, actually, there are many words that are similar. Many, many words. Okay, hold on. Number three. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's not it's not the same word to be alike. <laughs> And look at this. Look at this one. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you some some words that are similar. Look in the chat. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> How do you pronounce them? Pear. 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 Sometimes, Let's... sometimes, sometimes, some words are pronounced in the same way. No difference. I'm gonna show you an example right now. Look, go to the chat again. Bye, de adios. Uh -huh. Compra, comprar. Uh -huh. no, no difference, no difference, yes. No difference. It's the same song. I'm sorry? It, it, it's the same song. Exactly, it's the same sound. The difference is the context. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, it's the context. You have to like like. Bye, like, I want to buy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Bye, I want to buy. <laughs> Bye, I want to buy a car. Adios, quiero comprar. And then bay, bay, uh -huh. bay. Bahia is bay. Two. It's difficult two. sometimes, you know. <laughs> two. two. Okay. <laughs> yeah, do, do, do a, a song and the say two. Do, do. Which one? Two, two. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you homework. Look look at that one. Ah uh, yeah. <laughs> Good homework. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Very good. Fair. Fair. Very good practice. It's it's Beer. different, yes. Beer. 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 It's 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 a bear, beard, bear, 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 bear. also bear. beer barba. Bird okay. baro beer cerveza. Yes. All right. People, good. <laughs> Good luck. Okay? It's, it's, it's complicated. <laughs> it is complicated. Let me bring, how many are you? Two. Let me bring Ivan here. Group number two. Yeah. I'm bringing Ivan here. Because it's solo, Ivan. Okay. 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 
Okay, there he is. Hi, Ivan. Oh, he might not be available. Continue, guys. I will see you later. Uh -huh. Hello, beautiful people. Hey, hello, Tisha. Except Fatima. Beautiful woman. Yeah, she, is. she is beautiful. Okay. <laughs> okay. Did you finish, guys? Did you finish? We are working at the last one. Okay. I would like to hear you there. You're over here, though. Six, three. For me, the three, the three is harder. Yeah. Hello? For me, the last one is in the three paragraph. In the third paragraph, uh, what is what is an area of, of risk? I think saying Magdalene is controlling this area. Yes. 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 Before before I go, I would like to hear you guys practice or read the press the conversation. Can you do it? Yes. Thank yes, you. we can. Please do so. Okay. Okay. What is the last people? Okay. What is an area of the risk assessment process in which the manager haven't progressed much? Work, and then... Work on stability quality. <laughs> Marco, sir. It's difficult to hear you, Holman. Uh, work on establishing the... Incident probability. Uh, Holman, see if you said if you read the third paragraph, you can uh, you can <laughs> sometimes uh, sometimes have you have you seen one dog who eat has food sitting, no? Ending. <laughs> sitting, sitting, oh, sit man. down, sitting. A dog. A dog sitting for food, for it. No. <laughs> yeah, right now, but he is already finished. So. Okay. My dog, my dog, uh, sometimes uh, my grandmother leaves chairs outside and the dogs sleep, they sleep in the chairs. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> My dog, uh, his name is Canelo. Oh, okay. <laughs> he is really crazy, that dog. <laughs> have, you, have you seen a, a chicken in the, mer in the market? <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> and they, <laughs> no. <laughs> When the when the chicken is without his diet for for sell them for buy and and then is open her open her open his his <laughs> I'm so sorry <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Can... don't worry don't worry right. we're, we're good we're good I'm... you have no you have the no, you have don't know that. <laughs> okay. You know, okay, animal and then, then yeah. animal planet, yes. They are funny. Can you okay, read? Jan Can you practice, please? Okay, yeah. Uh, Can you read it, please? Just, on, ju just on the, the, the last one is control 
Control of risks. Yes. Yes. Control, control of risks. Control of risks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who wanna who wanna be first? Please, lady. Thank you for raising your hand. Um, let me check if the list of hazards and safety measure is complete. Measure is for electric shocks, for electric power. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft of the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. Now I will work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Great. I work on some ideas on control risks because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. <laughs> then you work on establish, establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity risk, value and risk level. <clears throat> that sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay. Roman, Fatima, thank you. Oh, me. Let me check if the list of hazard and safety measure is complete. Measure for measures, measures, measures for, okay, measures for electric shock, for electric board. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. Now you work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Great. I'll work. I'll okay. Excellent. Excellent. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risks because we haven't made much progress on that. Microphone. Great. Oh, oh, all right. Then I'll work on establishing the incident prob probability, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. With severity, all right? Severity. Severity, yes. Severity. Okay, severity. Severity. Yes. yes. Severity, yes. Or severity, yes. It's okay too. All right, now, are you ready? Yes. Well, what you can do is you can continue practicing. I'm going to go to a different group, okay? You can continue practicing. Let me go to the last one. Hi, did you finish here? Yes, the change is finished. Okay. But uh, before we go back to the main session, I would like to hear you practice the conversation. Can you do that? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Excellent. Let me check if the list of hazards and safety measures is complete. Measure for electric shocks, for electric burn. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. Now I'll work on the plan for the reporting hazard and incidents. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. Then I work on establishing that the incident probably probabilities, the potential severity, 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 yes. How? Severity. Severity. The potential severity, risk, value, and the risk level. 
That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. All right, all right. What about Rosa? Is she there? Okay, yes, she is. Yeah, we will. Uh, let me check if, if the list of hazard and safety measure is complete. Measure for electric shocks, for electric burn. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Somebody help me. <laughs> Already, Marcos. Now I'll work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Great. I work on some ideas on controlling risks because we haven't made much progress on that. All right, then I'll work on establishing the incidence probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That's so good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay, we want to have everything ready for, by the end of the week. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Very good, very good. Okay, thank you guys for your participation. I'm going to bring you back or take you back to the main session soon. Okay, teacher. Let me go to this one right here. Ajá, uh -huh, entonces, entrevistaron a ese tipo y, y nombre, el inglés de este Luis es casi perfecto como el del otro, man. Es bien fluido. Ay. Sí, Okay, guys, hey, teacher. hello. I would like to hear you guys practice this conversation. Can you do that, please? I didn't hear you before, that's why. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. You call for my group? Or now? I'm sorry? A call to main group or no, here, here. now? Here, here, right now. Huh. Can you start is the pair? <laughs> I, I I start. Okay. Uh, I Josue. Mm -hmm. I'm Josue. Yes. Who I is am. Marcos? Yes, Marcos. Let me okay. check. Let me check if the list of hazard and safety measure is complete. Measure for electric shock for electric burn. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. Now I will work on the plan for reporting hazard and incidents. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risks because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. Then I will work the establishing the incident probabilities the potential severity, risk, value, and level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay, by the end of the week. All right, what about Ivan? Okay. Uh, let me check if the list of hazard or safety measures incomplete. Measure for electric shocks, for electric boards? Yeah, it is. How do you finish the first draft of the office safety plan yet? Sure. Already, Marcos, now I, I work on the plan for reporting hazard and incidents. Great. I work in some ideas on controlling risks because we haven't made much progress of that. All right, then I'll work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity risk value and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay, okay, fantastic people, excellent. All right, do you have any questions? Yeah, I got it. No, yet. No, question for, for me. <laughs> no. No. Okay, let's go no, back to the main. Let's go back to the main session right now. 
Let's go. Let's yeah. go. Okay. Thank you. I think everybody's back now. Let me see if one person is missing. Two, three, two people are missing. Okay, we are good. We are going to continue. I'm gonna show you the, the book again for the questions. Yes. Let's go down here to part number three. The first question says, who has worked on the office safety plan? Do you remember the person? Who has worked on the office safety plan? Tell me the answer, people. Anybody? What is the answer? What is your answer? Just the works in the office safety plan picture. I'm sorry? Uh, Joshua work in the office pl safety plan. Okay, what Joshua worked on the office safety plan. Okay. Do you guys agree with Hector? Yes? Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay. The second question, who will work on the plan to report hazards and incidents? Who will work on the plan to report hazards and incidents? Tell me, anybody. Josue, what's the work? is work on the plan to report hazard and incident. Okay, the same person. All right. Okay. And the last question is this, what is an, what is an area of the risk assessment process in which managers haven't progressed much? What is your answer here? Guys, what is your answer here? Controlling risk. Okay, controlling risks. Okay, controlling risks. Very good, very good. Yes, I agree. Hey, look at this structure over here. Have you ever seen this before? No? No, first time for me. It, it works, but it's very, very rare. I don't, we, we don't normally see these type of structures. Like they don't, we, we never, we never make contractions with the, with the questions and the auxiliaries. Not like this one, cool, all right? But we, it, it's, it's normal. I have seen this one, look, I'm gonna show you in the chat. Look at that question in the chat. That one is, is very normal to see like this, you know? Look. What did he say or what he say? What? Where? Where she eat? Where she? Where she? Goes like that. Oops, not that one. This one. Who would she call? Okay, that that one is is pretty common to see those ones. Okay, now. We're going to continue, but before we continue, I'm gonna ask you, do you have any questions? 
If you don't, it's okay. Here, part number four. We're going to continue with part number four. Look, we got risk, hazard, exposure, safety measure, irreversible damage, and precautionary. Precautionary, guys, let's uh, work on this word. Pre, all right, cautionary. Precautionary, all right? Precautionary, precautionary. Okay, can you try? Can you say it? Can you say, can you say the word precautionary? Precautionary. Pre, precaution, precautionary. Precautionary. All right, all right. <laughs> what is, uh, well, let me see. We got consequences then. Let me read them. Consequence or damage that is so serious that it's impossible to undo. Aimed to protect someone or something from hazardous, hazardous situation. Procedure to prevent something dangerous from happening. Likelihood or, of harm in specific circumstances. Unprotected from something dangerous or unpleasant. And potential to be dangerous and cause harm. Questions about this vocabulary here. Teacher, I don't understand likelihood. Likelihood is probability. Probability, yes. The same, probability. Harm? Harm as daño. Yes. No questions? Okay. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you five minutes to do this. Place the number in the correct parenthesis. I don't know, I'm going to do it like this. I think it's okay right here. <laughs> Let me put it here, all right. It's an example, okay? Might be correct, might not, I don't know. I don't know. So guys, I'm going to give you five minutes to finish this. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Teacher, what do you say? I met aimed. Aimed. Aim aimed in this case. Okay, what it means in Spanish? Aim. Apuntar. Parar. It's like your objective. Your objective or your purpose. Yeah. Thank you. It's like you pretend in this case, pretende proteger. The pronunciation for the number six is precautionary. Pre precautionary. Precautionary. Precautionary, yes. Okay.
consequences or damage so serious is a possible to end. So, I'm sure. Hi. What's many ondo in the first paragraphs? Undo. This one. Undo. Uh -huh, that one? Sí, this. Desas deshacer. Yeah. Deshacer. Ondo. Uh, reparar también. Imposible de reparar o de deshacer. Amen. Aim. What's meaning aim? In this case, pretende. Pretende. Or su objetivo es. In Spanish, it means apuntar. Mm -hmm. Something from the haste or situations. Amen. You guys ready? Almost. Not yet. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of more minutes. Finished, sir. Excellent. Thank you very much. Let me know, please. Magdalena finished. I'm waiting for them. Thank you, thank you, Fatima. I'm finished, teacher. Thank you, Ariana. Right, let me know. Okay, let's start checking. Uh, let's see, read the first one. Risk and then give me the definition, please. 
a volunteer. Hi, a volunteer. Yes. Thank you, Lucy. Potential, potential to be dangerous and to cause harm. Okay, potential to be dangerous to call and to cause harm. Guys, do you agree with Lucy? What happened? I agree. Yes? Yes. Okay, very good. Let's continue with, thank you, Lucy, for reading. We're going to check that one later on if it is correct or not. Oops, this is all. Okay, Hector, read the second one, please. Hazard, and then give us a definition. The second, Hazard, for me, and is a, uh, who? Hazard, a, hey, I have a problem. Mm -hmm. Is yes. um like like I, I don't know likelihood, likelihood harm in a specific sequence but likelihood. So you're saying that this one is number two, hazard. Guys, do you agree with Hector? Yes, I agree. Yes. Okay. Okay. Number three, Adriana, help us, please. Thank you, Adriana. Thank you, Adriana. Exposure. Exposure. Unpro exposure. exposure. Okay. Unprotected from something dangerous on on Unpleasant. Unpleasant. Unprotected uh, from something dangerous or unpleasant. Guys, do you agree with Adriana? Yes. 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 Okay, yes, agree. Thank you, thank you. Let's yes, agree. The other one. Uh, let me see. Holman, read it, the next one, please. Number four. Uh, <clears throat> safety. Measure. Measure. Um, uh, a, amen to protect someone. Something from a ha hazardous situation. Hazardous situation. You saying this one is number four, aimed to protect something or someone from a hazardous situation. All right, guys, do you agree with Holman? No, 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 I agree. You don't agree? Okay. What is your answer, Ivan? Uh, the uh, for me is a product pros, procedure the province something dangerous from happenings. Okay. That will be number, this one, the next one, this one. Okay, it's possible, yes. We can check that later on, don't worry, okay? It's okay, we can check it later on. Yes. Christian, help us read the other one, please, number five. Okay. Irreversible, how I would say that, teacher? Irreversible. Yes. Irreversible. Irreversible damage. Irreversible damage. Irreversible damage. I put consequence or damage that is so serious that is impossible to undo. Okay, the first one, right? Yes. Consequence or damage that is to that is so serious that is impossible to undo. Okay, that's irreversible damage. And the last one, uh, let me see. Antonio, can you help us with the last one? Thank you, Antonio. Okay. Precautionary. Aim it to protect someone, something from hazardous situation. Okay, that one is your, your answer. Okay. Yes, this one, uh, this one, right? Six. Let's put number six over here. Okay. Now we got all the answers. Might be they might be correct. They might not be correct. Let me show you how they go. The first one, risk, is this one. Let me show you. 
risk. Okay, it's this one. Likelihood of harm in specific C2 circumstances. This one is number two. Excuse me, number one. Okay, yes. The second one, the second one here is here. Hazard, hazard is potential to be dangerous and to cause harm. Okay, this is the second one. Okay, yes. Let's see how many, how many we get correct, okay? It's okay, it's okay. You might get not correct. There you go. Okay, very good. We got those ones already. The third one here is exposure. Exposure. That one, we got it. We got exposure correct. There you go. Look, I'm protected from something dangerous or unpleasant. That one is okay. Let's continue up here. The number four, the number four is here. Safety measure procedure to prevent something dangerous from happening. That is the safety measure. All right, yes. Number five, we got number five here. Consequence or damage that is so serious that is impossible to undo, okay? But let me, oops, I almost dropped this. Okay, and that one is correct, okay? That one is good. Number five is okay, and number six is, this is number five, and number six, okay? Fix it, people. Fix it, fix it, please. Do you have any questions? I don't have. No, okay. Very good. Hold on. I stopped here. Now we're going to continue here in the book. And that one is part number five. Okay, part number five says. Your turn, brainstorm examples, examples, okay, of workplace hazards related to each of the categories in the chart. Do you remember what hazard is? Hazard is something dangerous, okay? Something that can happen, look, it's up here. Okay. Potential to be dangerous and to cause harm. That is a hazard. Okay, we got five different situations here. Office hazard, hazardous substances, hazards and risks, slips, trips, and false risks, electricity and fire hazards. What is a slips? Slips. Slips, people? No idea. I have no idea. Des deslizarse. Deslizarse. Deslizón. <laughs> Deslizón. Yes. Okay. What about trips? Viajar. Mm, no. Trips. Ah. Trips. <laughs> tropezar. Tropiezos. Literal. Cuando estamos juntos de caernos, nos tropezamos. Trips, okay, in this context. And then false caídas, okay? That's what it is. Okay. Now, do you have any questions about the activity? No, no understands high, in the, in the workplace, high, high hazardous some, some things, no, no. Hazardous, yeah. hazardous substances, sustancias peligrosas. Ah, okay. <laughs> right. But I think in this case, it refers to uh, chemicals. What is chemicals? Chemicals, okay? Chemicals. Chemical. Yes, mm -hmm. chemicals. Mm -hmm. Chemical. Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, chemical products. Probably so, probably so. Yeah, chemical uh, products. Okay. We're going to work on that activity, okay? We're going to work there and we're going to work with the same people, with the same groups, all right? So people join the groups, I will see you there, work on the activity. 
do it as better as you can hold on. Uh, Ivan, which group were you at? This one with number two. Okay, there you go, guys. Let's go. Let's work on the activity. Let's work on the activity right now. Let's go, let's go. Hazard. Office hazards. For me, is office hazard is, is fires, incendios, fires. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, terremotos, air, earthquake. Today, for example. Mm, yes. Did you feel yes, it? Did yeah. you feel the earthquake? Yes, teacher. Really? What were <laughs> you doing? What were you doing today? I, I was in my work. working. Yes, I was working. Oh no. I was I was having lunch. <laughs> I was eating <laughs> and eating. I was like, wait. One more second and I will get up. One. And it stopped. I continue eating. <laughs> Relaxing. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Continue, guys. Okay. The office, virus, earthquakes, on um, mass. Uh, only that. Um, Continue then. I will see you later. I'll be back. Okay. Um, level. Is level. there some level? <laughs> I'm sorry. Level. Level. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Level. Yes, level. Pero si es un level, no existe esa palabra. What do you mean? O sea que no está señalizada. I'm sorry, repeat. In the office, hazard, the stairs okay. with level. I don't know. Tenía. Hay pisos. Pisos? La grada. No, las gradas. Stair levels? Caleras. Stair, stair, stair levels. Did you feel the earthquake today? Guys? Did you feel the earthquake today? Yes. Yes? Yes. What were you doing? Yep. What were you doing? Uh, in my in my workplace, all good. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, but I feel it's hard. Scared. Umerke stands. I go on. Continue. Continue. I will see you soon. Okay. Which one has none? Which hazard? Hazardous. Hazardous. 
¿Por cuál va? Hacer dos sustancias. Ok, poison es a hacer dos sustancias. Ah, poison. Poison. We can include poison. Peter, how do you say when, when someone is is all is expired? Expired. 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 Come again, please. I couldn't hear you very well. It might be your internet or your. I think it's your internet. Okay, now you can hear me. I can hear you better. Try. Okay. With food expired. Food. Food. Well, you can say that food expires. Yes, yes. It expires. Food expires. I go out, teacher, for my internet, and I will try to enter again. Mm -hmm. I will see if this is better. Okay, okay, it's okay. How many? How many do you have? <clears throat> three of his hazards. Three hazard or substances. And nothing for electricity and fire hazard. Did you did you hear? Do you remember about this news in the US? I think no. I don't know where, but about this chemical problem in a in a city. No recuerdan lo que pasó hace como una semana, dos semanas, de un incidente que hubo de, de químicos en un lugar en Estados Unidos, creo. Muy parecido a Cher a Chernobyl or something like that. No? People watch the news. <laughs> Watch the news. Sí, fue un poco, un poco viral ese eso que se hizo ese caso desde ese lugar que estaba bajo, bueno, estaba todo ra radioactivo en ese lugar, algo así, ¿no? I'm going to continue, guys. I'm going to look for it. Uh, well, with electric electricity and fire hazards, maybe uh, in the kitchen, like the microwave, the microwave or kitchen, because maybe you, you cook your lunch in, in, in work, you use the microwave. Microwave. Micro, microwave. Mike. Microwave. Microwave. Um. Okay. Hello. Hello, Jane. Hello. We finish. All right, fantastic. Okay. You other ones haven't finished. They are in the, the second one. Okay. 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 We're gonna. But for the for the activity, we only share the 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 ha, the different hazards. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Just mention, Only mention. mention the area, mention the area, and then mention the possible problems. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, by the way, did you feel the earthquake today? No. <gasps> <laughs> Here in Sonsonate, 
How is that possible? We are, we are, we are, ¿cómo se dice? Acostumbrados, ya ni sentimos. We, we are accustomed to. Accustomed to. Really? We didn't feel, we didn't feel the, the earthquakes. <laughs> okay, okay. No, I was, I was in my house, I was here in my house eating. Pero si en El Salvador sí dicen que estuvo fuerte. Over here too. I live in Sulutan. It was it was a uh, six. ¿Qué le pasó al teacher? Ah, I'm sorry. I'm here. Hello, hello, hello. What happened to Lucy? We lost Lucy. Uh, yes, I think. What about you, Christian? How how was the the earthquake? <laughs> uh, I just feel a little moving. But I think uh, I am I am feeling sick. <laughs> it was it was strong. I I was eating my, over here in my house. I was just having lunch, and then everything started moving. I'm like, wait a minute. In 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 the work, in my work, mm -hmm. I didn't feel it a lot. Uh, I, just a little movement. Uh, where where do you live? I live in Santa in Chalchuapa City, but I work in American Park. Okay, all right. Ciudad Arce. She's back. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. yes. I have problems. <laughs> I didn't listen. No, hold on. Uh, this is group number four. Uh, there you go. So you were saying, Lucia, you are you are used to like getting getting these these earthquakes very often okay okay yes. yeah i was i was telling i was telling uh uh listen that was i was i was eating and then everything started moving i was like oh no and then it mm -hmm. stopped and i just continued eating <laughs> eating but it was it was some co some co-workers told me that in San Salvador was very heavy. But right. here in Sonsonate, we didn't feel. We didn't feel. We didn't, no, we didn't feel it, feel it, yes. I feel it, okay. Yes. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, yes. You're missing, the, you are missing the fun, it's fun, you know? <laughs> it's not fun, it's not fun. Okay, guys, just wait a little, a little, longer okay let me go and check on the other groups see you soon okay uh, hi anthony robert you finished not yet teacher. okay okay i understand man. i'm here if you need any help i'm here okay hey, we have slipped sleep Sleeps and four takes. Okay. In also hazard and risk. Hazard? And risk. Ah, hazards and risks, okay. Um, break an arm. Quebrar un brazo. Break. Un arc. Tropezar, caer. Si te puedes quebrar un brazo. Break an arm. Mm -hmm. Break an arm. Break. Break a leg. Break a leg. ¿Sabe que break a leg? Rompete una pata. <laughs> literal, ¿verdad? Sí, funciona en dos, en dos contextos. Funciona literal, que es romperse, aclararse una, una pierna. Y cuando alguien va a audicionar o presentar, presentar algo, le decimos... Ah, bueno, sí. Ajá, exacto. Le decimos break a leg, means good luck. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. Tell, tell your boss, hey boss, break a leg. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. Tomorrow, okay. Okay, teacher. And send me, send me the video. Okay, teacher. I'm joking, okay? Don't do it. 
no problem. Okay, I'm here. Okay, I'll be here. Okay, tenemos break your break our, our, our arm and break a leg. Break a leg, eh, también um, head damage. Head damage. Um, what about injuries? About injuries. What do I say? Injuries. 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 Lesión. Lesiones. Ah, oh, okay. Probably uh. This location too, this location. I say, head injuries. In you can say head, hand or, or arm or leg. Yes, it works. Uh-huh, okay. Let me go to a different group to see how they are doing. I'll see you soon. Okay. Okay. Don Carlo. No sé cómo sería. magnetic, ¿qué sería? ¿Cómo sería? Ah. Sí, campo magnético. I don't know. Y el campo magnético affects a the body. Es que lo que pasa es que hay un, eh, ellos dicen que marcan una zona de seguridad donde antes de que apaguen el equipo, porque como tienen que apagar la, la, la corriente, tienen que eh, colocarse ahí, porque también el campo eléctrico es bastante fuerte. Mm. Es campo eléctrico, ¿verdad? Electric, electric field. <laughs> yes. Is 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 electric area. field or area? Area, uh huh. Area sounds better. Yes. Did you finish? Are you done? Almost. Almost, teacher. <laughs> almost, almost. Almost, almost. Two minute more, teacher. Okay. Yes. <laughs> In a couple of minutes, we're going to finish the class. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It, it's okay. It's okay. Right. Oh, don't worry. I have one more group to visit. Let me go All to right. that one. I will take you back to the main session in one or two minutes. Okay. Be ready. Okay. Oh, yes. Hi. Did you finish? Yes. Yes, teacher. Well, man, are you tired? Yes, I hate the, the, the Monday. Uh, why? It's a Monday. Monday is beautiful. Nah, I hate. <laughs> no, Monday is good. I like Mondays because uh, I feel I feel energetic. You know, I feel good on Monday. Yes, yeah. so, New York. Yeah. New York. Yeah. All right, all right. So you're ready, right? Ready? Yeah. Ready. Okay. We're going to go back to the main session right now. Let's go. I will see you guys there. Hello, teacher. I'm alone. No, we are here. Get back. Okay. The main session. Okay, teacher. Yep. Go. We're gonna wait for the rest. Okay, I have my book and my table. Okay. Of hazard. I have of hazard. A stairs, elevator. And for the rest. We're waiting. We're waiting for the rest. Uh -huh. yes. Okay. Wait, wait, we need one, two, three, four, five people still in the groups. 
Okay, now everybody's back. Okay, very good. My sound is bad, really bad. My my signal. Yeah, it you sound just you, your voice is weird. It's different. Yes. Okay, guys, I'm going to share with you this. I'll share this with you. And uh, I need you to mention the problems or the risks or the hazards or the dangers, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to be taking notes or write them then down right over here. Guys, can you mention some office hazards? Hello, office hazards. Good with paper. Repetitive work, like computer use. Repeat it, Lucy, I'm sorry. Um, repetitive work like computer use. Work, you said. I didn't quite understand that one. Can you mention more, please? Sorry. And these have a ergonomic problems in your uh, la muñeca and your brazos risk risk and risk yes uh, economic Re the repetitive work and may cause um, injuries in your wrist oh, okay in your wrist. Teacher, yes. Uh, for example, sitting for a long time. I'm sorry? Sitting for a long time or a long period. Sitting for long for long periods of time, let's say. Can you mention more? In your teeth. Can you mention one more? Lack fire extinguisher. Okay, lack of extinguishers. All right. Let's finish with that one and let's continue with hazardous substances. What can you tell me about this one? So what do you have here in hazardous uh, substances? Can you mention any? The rigs are uh, allergies. Allergy. Allergy. Thank you. Allergy. Allergy. Okay. Allergy exposure. All right. What else? Inappropriate container. Sorry? Inappropriate container. Okay. Inappropriate container. All right. Another one? Can you mention another one, guys? Uh, how do you, how I can say chemicals? Chemicals. Chemicals. Uh, for example, cleaning cleaning chemicals. Cleaning. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. Clean. Cleaning. Cleaning or clinic. Both of both can be. <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Excellent. Another one. Yes, I'm waiting. No, no more. It's okay. Hazards and risks. Hazards and risks. People, what do you have for these ones?
Hi. Anybody? They said no, no, come on, nah. good. <laughs> Nobody? It's okay. Nosotros, nosotros lo vimos como que de ahí salía todo, a peligro. Uh -huh. de... Yeah, uh -huh. it's, okay. it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, well, we don't have more time to be con to continue sharing or checking them out. We're going to do so tomorrow, though. All right. Tomorrow we're going to continue sharing these these hazards or these dangers in different areas. All right. I'm going to take attendance. Uh, quick reminder: continue working on the platform. This is for the ones that haven't worked on the platform. Remember, it has to be it has to be updated or complete by Friday, the latest. Okay, and also remember, probably tomorrow or uh, Wednesday. I don't think Thursday. I think it's gonna be tomorrow or Wednesday that you're going to be receiving the link for the survey. We're not you're not going to do the survey. Remember. You're gonna wait until Friday to do the survey all together here in the class. Okay. Yes. Now, let me, the attendance list is loading, okay. Okay, let me take attendance. Also, I am going to mention who is going to stay today. Let me see, Adriana Maria Turcios. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol. Christian Alexander Arevalo Delgado. Present teacher. Uh, Christopher Speed Chipagua. He was here at the beginning, but then he just, he went MIA. He went MIA. Guys, MIA, you know what it is? He went MIA in the chat. What is it? Tell me. Fatima Denise Aguilar. Marcus. Hi, yes. Hector Francisco Morales. Present teacher. Isabel Hernandez Hernandez. Thank Mister. Yes, you stay, Isabel. Sorry. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present. Holman Saul Giron Sanchez. Present. Laura Yasmin Portillo Andres. Lucy Natalie Juarez. Present. Yes. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Yes. Nelson Antonio Rodas. Present teacher. Oscar Armando, he was not here today. Pamela wasn't here either. Uh, Roberto Carlos Hernandez Cruz. Present. And the last one, Rosalina Alvarado was here for a couple of minutes and then she left. I think she left. She's not here anymore. All right, guys, we got nothing else to do. You are dismissed. I will see you tomorrow. People sleep well, okay? Que descansen, duerman. Okay. Don't watch TikTok. Go to your bed and sleep. <laughs> right. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.
Hi everyone, I'm going to continue helping you here with more ideas of things you can write in different areas here. Okay, uh, you mentioned some problems that can happen in, uh, in the office. Also some uh, substances that can you know, harm or, or damage something. And then we got electricity and fires hazards, slip strips and fall risks. Yes. Guys, I just want to re remind you of, remind you of the practice, the constant practice. Every word you learn in every lesson, that word has to be practiced. You have to practice that word every day. Practice it, practice it, practice it. In that way, you're going to improve everything. I mean, your English is going to improve in all senses, in all areas. Yes. You have to remember that practice makes perfection, okay? Whenever you have time, go for it. Okay, don't hesitate and start learning, start practicing. If you don't practice, you're never going to improve. Yes, you're never going to improve. If you don't repeat, you're never going to improve. Look at babies, babies repeat. When they are trying to say, or when they want to say something, they hear the word, they repeat it. They repeat it, they repeat it until they pronounce it or they say it perfectly, yes. That's what we need to do too, okay? We need to practice, practice, practice until this English comes out naturally. I know it is a difficult task to get. It's difficult, you know, but you can do it. You can do it, you know? Like I said, constant practice is gonna help you a lot, yes. Whatever you're doing, just go to the book or your book and try to practice as much as you can, yes. We got a lot, a lot of, a lot of things here to practice. We got vocabulary, we got sentences, we got everything here. Questions that you can change, that you can use with different words. So you need to practice very much. Now, also, I'm going to give you some tips of things that you can do. Okay. Tips to improve. Tips improve your English. I'm going to mention a few of them, okay? Uh, let me mention this one. Don't use your mother tongue. Practice English all the time. Okay, this is one, one important thing to do. We might look like crazy people talking to ourselves or, or talking to somebody else or, or talking to yourself or just uh, speaking or saying things alone, but you should not pay attention to that, okay? You should pay attention to you and your constant practice. So don't use your mother tongue, practice English all the time. Try, at least try, okay? Yes. You may think that this is not beneficial, but man, at the end, you're gonna see the results. That's one tip for, uh, uh, that I can give you, okay? Yes, another one. Yourself with English. Surround yourself with English. Everything you do has to be done in English. If you're watching a movie in English, series in English, anime in English, Cartoons in English, music in English, YouTubers in English, TikTok in English. Everything has to be in English, okay? You have to surround yourself. Everything, everything around you has to be in English, all right? Yes. yes. Try learning uh, new 
word every day. This is another important tip here. Try learning a new word every day. This is gonna help you increase your vocabulary, yes? If you increase your vocabulary, your, influ your fluency is going to be better, okay? With new vocabulary, your fluency is going to be fantastic, yes? Another tip here is this one. Write short at a... Write short paragraphs or short stories. Okay. Yes, you can uh, improve a lot with that, but by writing, watch YouTubers that teach English. Okay. Or what you can do is watch shorts about a series or movies, okay? This is very important too, yes. Okay, there are, there are many tips that you can do to improve your English, but the most important one is the practice. You have to practice every, every, every single day, yes. If you don't practice, then you're going to get stuck you're going to start forgetting a lot of things. Uh, your fluency is going to be, uh, well, it's going to lack and you don't want that to be lacking, right? You want that to be, you know, improving, improving. You wanna enhance your pronunciation. It sound, to make it sound attractive, yes. Okay, people, those are some of, some of my tips. There are many, many tips, okay? A lot of things you can follow, you can apply or implement, yes, okay? But one thing is sure, practice makes perfection. I will see you soon. Take care and peace. See you, everyone. Peace.